Hello, my dear friends. Today is a story about my big caterpillars. About caterpillars of two big moths, silk moths. In this are moth of giant peacock moth. Saturnia Piri on the right side of screen, and in the center, silk moth Hactia Luna. And what we are doing? We are already preparing to becoming a pupa. But before becoming a pupa, very important step is to do a cocoon for self-protection. And we found that Arcteus Luna silk moth, which is pretty small, two size, two times smaller than probably giant peacock caterpillar, which is on the right. Already very busy. And you see here some swollen leaves and head of silk moth Arcteus Luna, which is doing something. Silk moth is doing silk, producing silk and making a special net inside between leaves. The head is producing silk, special glands for sure inside the gland. But with the gland and with the mandibles, caterpillar is making kind of a cocoon and special web. And this web is connected between leaves. And leaves are making special kind of nest or building for self-protection. And caterpillar is spinning, carefully spinning cocoon. Sorry, let's, we lost additional light. Okay, that's fine. Caterpillar is just making a, a nest and spinning several leaves all together, making a shelter or kind of nest where she will be quietly making metamorphosis. Before metamorphosis, will make a cocoon inside, which is very well protected. Will be a period of quiet after before movement. Very quiet time for metamorphosis. When caterpillar will take off skin and become a pupa. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe after tomorrow. After making full cocoon. Now it's just at the beginning of making cocoon. Because caterpillar is hidden inside, you see. Leaves of web. Web done with silk. Yes, very tiny, very compact nest. And inside will be very tough very specially done cocoon. Oh, yes, 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 not everything is well done. Leaves just under, le the nest is under construction. You see the head of caterpillar is making connections between leaves to make careful connections and to make a very careful cocoon inside leaves, which is very, very well protected. And the second caterpillar is sitting here and very quiet. And this is giant peacock moth. Why she is very quiet? Because she has just received very big size and probably last stage of development. Why I could say so? Because yesterday she was feeding very much, but today she made a very wet excrements. She took off excrements with moisture and it's just a sign that caterpillar is preparing for pupation after this, just this big wet excrements pupa change also the color common color was a green and now color is yellow you see caterpillar is very hairy hair is very important because fewer caterpillar is less visible and also is indication that 
she is poisonous for birds, for predators. So that's why probably some birds will not eat it. Not all of, for sure, but at least this is a kind of protection. Poisonous hairs with some kind of poison or venom. Such kind of stinging hairs. But now on the right side you see just head. Between you see three pairs of legs and special sucking legs on the body on the left side. And here end of body which is produced produced excrements. And you see you see Actia Sloan is still busy. Caterpillar is busy making cocoon spinning leaves. Spinning leaves. So far so good. Caterpillar of giant peacock moth became became quiet and probably today she will produce also her separate special cocoon. Also making a kind of nest between leaves and then spinning cocoon. But now this is a period of moveless actions, just quiet time. And then she will be spinning cocoon. So hopefully she will do it very soon and I show you already done cocoon over just caterpillar during the process of spinning cocoon. So thank you for your attention. Today we have interesting moment of preparation for pupation of our caterpillars. And it's very important because we do it very quickly, you see, few minutes and pupa is hidden inside leaves. And not eating, not feeding, but busy with making cocoon, making with special nest, and then spinning cocoon and making kind of metamorphosis, just development from caterpillar in pupa. And then there will be a very long period of hibernation of the winter inside cocoon before the next season, because adult or butterfly or moth will emerge only the next May, June, if everything will be all right. Hopefully, if she will not be dying because of dry air or some not suitable temperature, so long time to survive during overwintering. So it's important to make cocoon for self-protection and then to overwinter for a long period for the next at least six, seven months. So hope will show you adults in the next season as well. Thank you for your attention. Good luck see you soon and I will make zoom off giant peacock moth to say goodbye funny peacock moth goodbye giant peacock moth goodbye great peacock moth see you soon as a pupa inside cocoon good luck and don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye and press like and write comments and visit patreon page